welcome back to another video. Today's video is being me doing this makeup look that I'm wearing and this is using just Poundland makeup. If you are new here then welcome and please do subscribe. Right so first of all I'm just going to go through what I actually picked up from Poundland and everything I picked up was actually a pound. I'm only saying that because Poundland they do do things for like two pounds three pounds but all of the makeup products I picked up was actually just a pound so first of all I went for a foundation this is the makeup gallery matte foundation it's a long lasting foundation and it says it's vitamin enriched so I got the shade for latte um, I don't normally go for matte foundations, but that's the only ones my one had to offer. The shade so far looks okay, but obviously you'll see when it's on. I then picked up this foundation. So sometimes Poundland, you can actually pick up like branded makeup in there for a pound, but it's normally always like the unpopular shades. So this is the sleek makeup life proof foundation this is normally about like eight to ten pounds i think so really good and it's like a really dark tanned color so i just picked it up to use it for contouring to see how that would go i then picked up this makeup gallery good to glow matte bronzer and i've actually heard really good things about this bronzer i actually wanted to try it so i'm glad i then made this video because i'm now going to get to actually try this i then picked up the highlighter in the good to glow just to let's say as well like they're really like they're good sizes obviously for a pound it's like they're a bargain but like, I think the packaging is really cute as well. But this is the highlighting powder. And it's like a really cute pinky colour. Which I think is really nice. I then picked up this little um, contour kit. This is from the Makeup Gallery section again. And it's just got like a tanned, like a bronzer contoury thing. And the blusher. I actually picked this up for the blusher because that's the only blushes they had. I then picked up the brow gel. Again, I've heard really good things about this. Only a pound and it's like um, a brush for the eyebrows. So I think that should be good. And then this is a matte lip color. The packaging looks exactly the same as like the NYX one. Um, and I think I've actually opened this. The colour, and they had quite a variety of colours. The colour just looks really nice, like peachy colours that I love, peachy pinks. And I did buy a lip liner as well, but I don't know where it has gone. So I've sort, I'll just make do with these products. I also bought these clips in Poundland. They're like sectioning clips, and I just thought they'll be great for like when you do your makeup. Just like get your hair out of your face. Okay, I have got a little mirror here as well. So if you think, where is she looking? That is where I'm going to be looking. So first of all, because this is a matte foundation, I'm just going to put some of my um, moisturiser on my face. For some reason, I'm like really worried about my skin using this stuff. Only because if something don't agree with my skin, it will um, break out. So hopefully it's all okay. It would be the foundation if anything that would break it out okay so this is the before the Palan makeup also i'm going to be using my own brushes just because well, there's no point getting brushes that i already have so right first of all i'm going to use like this sort of brush for the foundation I'm going to mix it because it looks a bit oily. Right. So I'm just going to put a little bit on. You can definitely tell that it's like a matte foundation. I'm going to block it on my face. Oh. <laughs> I think the colour will be fine. 
like so far the colour looks okay you can definitely tell it's like a it just reminds me of the foundation I used to wear like in secondary school it has actually gone on okay there right so I'm just gonna blend this in it is blending really well as well surprisingly Actually quite impressed the coverage isn't um, brilliant but I think it is like for a pound Yeah, so that is the foundation and I'm actually quite impressed. It's not something that I would go and buy again, but yeah, like for a pound, it's quite good. It's like a, it's, the coverage isn't great at all, but it's a bit like a tinted moisturiser. Like I would probably use that for like a tinted moisturiser. Or maybe if you want something like a quite heavy makeup look, it would be good to like wear underneath. Right, let's try this foundation to do the contouring. If this is good, I would actually use this like every day. Because I love like a cream contour product. But every time I've ever bought one, it's just always far too dark they're just not blendable so I've just put a little bit on my hand and I'm gonna use a like a brush like this just pop it on there to be honest the colour for me, like contour, is the perfect sort of colour to be honest. I'm actually like so impressed with this foundation. Like the more I look at it, you'd never think that's a pound. Okay, so I've just contoured like the cheek area, the jaw, but I never normally actually do this, but I just thought to add something extra to show you that you guys might actually use. So it blends really nicely. They did also have like um, pressed powders in there. What is a bit? <laughs> All right, we'll blend this all in. This is actually probably just gonna make the foundation look darker. You could mix actually this foundation and the other one. That would probably work quite well. Yeah, they did have like pressed powders. They had all different, like they had concealers. Um, loads of like really nice like brushes as well. They had a really, really good variety. And do you know what I thought like when I was in there? I thought it's perfect for like young girls that are experimenting with makeup or, but yeah, especially for like young girls, I think that are just trying makeup out and their parents don't want to spend like loads of money on it. I would definitely say to try this. Right, it's just now I'm gonna blend it all into my neck. Okay, so that is now the foundation, the makeup gallery one, and then the sleek one that I got from Poundland. Um, I use it as like a bit of a contour, but really it has just um, darkened the foundation. Maybe gave me a little bit of definition. So yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. Now I'm gonna use the bronzer. 
really like a nice colour. I don't know. Oh yeah, so this is the matte medium too. This is like a matte bronzer. And I'm just going to pop this all over my face. And then I'm going to actually use the powder contour as well to like define any areas. This is nice. Like this is good for a pound bronzer. I have bought a Primark bronzer before that was quite good. It was like a big round one. And my mum used to use one like that as well. But yeah, this is definitely like a bronzer that I would... Do you know that one just to keep in your bag? Or when you've run out of your um, branded one as long as it like wouldn't break me out I think it's quite good you can definitely see that it's giving me a bit of a colour yeah impressed with that so that's now the bronzer on as well and then I'm just going to go in with the contour kit and I'm just going to use like an angled I can't even open this Oh, it's like a cream blush. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, so I'm just going to use a brush like this. And use the brown side. Just to define any areas. It is pretty similar to the bronzer, if anything, that's a bit lighter, you can see. And then as you can see there, the blush is like a cream, which I do like. So I'm just going to put it on a brush like this, just applied it to the brush, and then just smile. Oh, it's pigment. <laughs> it's quite pigmented, which is good. And then just rub it in with like your finger. It's quite nice actually. Do you know what I was thinking? After this video, I'm going to have to take my makeup off and redo it. I don't actually think I'm going to bother. It isn't that bad. Like the base, is it? It's fine. So that is now the base. I've used the foundations, both of them. I've used the bronzer and I've used the contour kit, which is like a contour and then a blush. Like it's a cream blush. So now I'm just going to use the highlighting powder, which I think looks really nice. I'm then going to use the highlighting powder, which looks really lovely. It's like a pinky colour. It doesn't look too pigmented. I've said that, and then I've just put like loads in the brush. Is it good? It's alright. Thanks. Okay, and now on? <laughs> no. <laughs> You've probably just heard Ross telling me that I can now buy this makeup from now on. <laughs> yeah, like the bluff, the highlight isn't, I wouldn't go for this again. It's like really a pinky. I used to wear highlighters like this all the time, but now I like the more goldy. Yeah, it's not that bad though. Right, so that is like the base which is okay. And now the only eyebrow product I purchased was the gel. So I don't know how this is gonna, just like a little tiny mascara brush. So I normally use a gel, but with a brush or I use like an eyeshadow. So 
I'm just going to use my eyebrow brush to sort of define them a little bit. So the eyebrow um, stuff is quite hard to use like it's really watery so it's good if you just want it like if you've got full brows and you just want it to like define them I'd probably use it if I was having like maybe like a natural makeup day Yeah, but it's very like watery. It's not thick at all. Yeah, so the eyebrows are actually shocking. Maybe I should have bought like a pencil, but because I heard good things about this, I thought it would actually be okay. It says up to 24 hour wear, but I honestly think if I was to touch that, it would come off. Maybe it needs to set. Yeah, I'm not sure. I do feel like with the whole makeup that it's a, um, if you touch your face, it's going to come off. I think it would probably last not long at all. Yeah, and then I'm going to just do my lips to finish it off. Oh, I didn't even get a mascara. I don't think they had mascara. I've just realised that I didn't pick a mascara up. I don't actually think they sold mascara. That's probably why I didn't see it in there. So I'll just use my own mascara to show you like the finished look. So the lips, so the lip colour is really lovely, it's like a pinky, peachy colour, this colour that I picked up was called Soft Rose 5, um, it goes on really like, like liquidy, it's not matte but obviously I think it dries matte. So I'm going to quickly just put my mascara on. I'm going to go upstairs and get my own mascara. Then I'll show you the finished look. So I've just put my own mascara on. And that is the makeup look completed. Overall, I think I'm quite impressed really. I was expecting it to look like the finished result to look a lot worse. I would say the best product would definitely be the bronzer. Um, yeah, I think it's all a bit watery, like it's all watered down. The I feel like if I touch my face, like I said, it will come off. I actually like touched up here. On camera, you probably can't see, but it is a little bit patchy. Actually, I think the lip colour is really nice as well, and I think that would stay on. So I probably will use that. The products I will use again would definitely be the bronzer. I'd probably use the blush out of the contour kit and definitely the lip colour. So yeah, those are the products I would recommend. And the, my least favourite would be the highlighting powder. It was just too pinky for me, but if you like that sort of thing, then it'd probably be for you. But yeah, so that is it completed. So thank you all so much for watching today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and leave a comment below on which product you thought was the best and if you were surprised or not because I generally was. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I know you've heard it all
before, but you are the love of my life. The door that you are the love of my life. Nothing's hard, everything is easy with you. Everything is easy. 